hey welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing the Medela Sonata review and I'm really really excited um, because uh, yeah like it's exciting so I'm a little bit further back so hopefully you'll be able to see everything but before we actually get into the review I do want to talk about a couple products um, that were sent to me and I also wanted to do a big shout out to Dapple Baby. Um, they did send me these products for free. This video is not sponsored by them, but I did want to just mention them really quick. Um, they sent me the shampoo and body wash and the calming baby lotion. And they also sent the calming bath. Um, I haven't, uh, used the lotion yet and I actually want to put this um, in my 100 subscribers giveaway for you guys um, because uh, I thought that that would be something fun so this isn't opened and uh, I thought you know like why not just give a little so this will definitely be in the giveaway and I do want to do like a full depth uh, review on these. I did just want to like do a little shout out um, for them and thank them for sending them to me. Anyways, though, let's just get into the Medela review. So this is the Medela Sonata Pump. Let's see if it'll focus here. Um, I just want to kind of like show you. This is the on button. I am going to link up above the Medela Sonata unboxing video that I did. That'll kind of give you like what is in the box and like what comes with this. I did get this through insurance and it wasn't 100% covered. I can't remember. Um, how much we did have to pay, but it was through uh, Aeroflow, I think. Yeah, and I will link them down below. You can get a free breast pump from Aeroflow. I really like them. They're a really great company. I guess what I wanted to just start out by saying is that um, everybody's kind of going to respond differently to each pump. I am going to tell you kind of like my response to this pump, but I'm not going to go too much, too much in depth about it because everybody's body's different so the how you like the comfort level you know everybody's gonna kind of experience that different but I am just I am gonna like explain that and so first I'm gonna explain what I love about the pump and then I'm gonna explain kind of things that I didn't like about the pump and then like my final thoughts I do have my notes so if I'm like looking down like that's just because I'm looking down at my notes if I'm looking kind of weird it's like a really rainy day out today so my lighting like absolutely stinks and I need to get like a ring light or something to kind of like help with that but I'm really sorry if I look crazy one of the first things that I absolutely love about this pump is just the look like it's very sleek it's it's just it's soft kind of to the touch this is like very soft let me turn this on And I love the little chime, like, I don't know, those things kind of speak to me. Like, the interface is very um, appealing to me, and it just, it kind of reminds me of, like, um, an Apple sort of, like, packaging thing, if that makes sense. Um, it does sort of have the Medela yellow, which I love. Um, I like that they kind of kept that. Everything just seems aesthetically pleasing, if that makes sense. Another thing that I really like about the pump is the parts are very well made. So let's talk about the tubing. The tubing is really, really strong. It's much stronger than this actually goes in to this part of the pump. Yep. And then these little parts go into the top here. But it's very like it's much stronger than the old tubing that they had i do want to say it's a little shorter i don't know it seems a little shorter it does have this y um kind of contraption contraption here and that is where if you'd want to do um single pumping and i think this is like pretty user friendly and cool i do like that um this is stronger you don't also have to sterilize this which is really nice so that's kind of like an extra step that you like don't need to do anymore parts that um come with the medela are definitely sturdy and really they're d the plastic is hardcore i want to say this is like kind of rubbery in there um the membrane is way more hardcore than the little white kind of like older ones are uh and this is like, let me see if it'll, I don't know why this camera like doesn't focus. I need to sort of like figure out my camera stuff, but there. 
these I, I like how this looks it's sleek and the flange fits really well um, in to the little adapter here there's like no issue there and um, your bottle will just go here and this like does look very aesthetically pleasing to me and I do really like how the parts um, seem slightly better quality than what they did have not that what they did have was bad it wasn't bad at all like it was it was really really good and I still think it's really really good but this is like a step up from that um you do have more parts to kind of wash but I feel like that's fine because um you know these parts are really well made and so they're going to withstand a little bit more so you won't really have to like replace as many parts as like you might have had to before um, I did want to mention that they now have a um, Medela app. I don't know if you can see it. Um, the app actually hooks up to the pump. I don't know if you can see, but, oh, it's not gonna show up. But over here, there'll be like a little Bluetooth um, function. And I think that's awesome. It's really, really cool. Right when you turn on the pump, it'll like open your app and it records everything that you do. So it records all your pumping, you can record wet diapers, you can record sleep, weight, height, so like all the things of your baby that you want to record, you can record it here and it's great, especially for an exclusive pumper. I absolutely love it. You can even use that app without the Medela Sonata, which I think is great. There's like a manual entry, which I've been using now um, because I'm re reviewing um, another pump, which look out for that. And I absolutely love that. Like I think that that was a really, really smart thing to do, like kind of Medela definitely was moving along with the trends and I think that that's really important because Bluetooth is really helpful and it's nice to kind of see, you know, like, oh, yeah, see, there's the little symbol there because my phone was on and I had the app open so it knows and it will also let you know when your battery is low and it'll give you like a percentage on how much battery you have left. If you hear my son coughing in the background, it's because we've had this like cord cold. The other thing that I really like about the pump, let me just show you, is it's quiet. It doesn't, it might not seem like it's very quiet on camera, but it is. It's much quieter than their old pump and even the freestyle. I think it's like much quieter than that. It does have two options for suction right here. Or no, yeah, right there, no, yeah. So there's one and two. The first one is supposed to be like, like the Symphony pump, and the second one is supposed to be just like their regular kind of suction. Um, so I think that's cool that there's option. I also really like that this pump is rechargeable and has a touch screen. It's cool, like, I think the touch screen is really fun, and kind of like I mentioned before, like, I think that's like a really you know, interesting and fun trend that they're like trying to put into pumps, like making a touchscreen. The rechargeable option is awesome. I do want to say that the rechargeable battery is good. It definitely lasts. I want to say since I'm an exclusive pumper, I probably will only have to charge this once a day. Sometimes even like I can go the full day and then only charge it at night. Um, and I want to say it doesn't take too long to charge, maybe like 30 minutes to an hour, like but I don't, I don't really notice it like taking a while to charge, if that makes sense. Um, and the charge port is right in the back. The actual charge port is pretty normal and I feel like the length of the cord is really great, which is perfect. It did come with a bag. Now, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but uh, I really like this bag. I do want to say the pump like just barely fits in the bag with stuff, but I like this bag because it's small so I bring this with me like in the car if I'm going to pump with the car because then it doesn't like take up as much room but if I'm like going to somebody's house like and I'll be there for the whole day I bring my Sarah Wells bag because it fits everything but I do really like their bag um I kind of wish it was a little bit deeper like it's kind of not really that deep but it is still a really good bag and all their kind of Medela bags I've liked so it is nice that it comes with its own bag and you don't have to like buy it separately like with the other pumps. You did have to buy a bag except for I think maybe the freestyle. But 
it's nice that they included that. Just kind of my final thoughts on like what I really like about this pump. I really like the Medela brand and I really wanted to get my hands on this pump and try it. Um, I did sort of hear like different things. Some people liked it, some people didn't, but you know, that's going to be like that with, you know, any product. Overall, I really did like it. Um, it's a sweet little pump. I really liked how it looked. I liked all the you know, like interface. The accessories are really well made and I really like that. I think that's important because if the accessories are kind of crappy, like I feel like you're not going to want to use the pump. But overall, this was a really good pump and um, I'm really happy to have it in my collection. Now I want to get into uh, some of the things that I did like about the pump. And I do want to say that I'm not saying these things because like, you know, I'm deterring you from buying the pump. If you're interested in it, I definitely think you should try and get your hands on it. I do know that it is quite expensive, which kind of stinks, but definitely check your insurance and see if um, you can get it through there. Or maybe a friend or somebody um, that you know has it and you can give it a try. One of the first things that I do want to talk about is the suction on this pump. For me personally, it wasn't quite the best. It kind of had trouble stimulating me. Sometimes I feel like it did really well and then sometimes I feel like it didn't. It was almost like um, the motor like got a little wonky sometimes. I'm not sure if it was just because um, I was using it all the time because I am an exclusive pumper but I do feel like sometimes it got a little weird um, and there is actually a function on kind of like how to restart its system which I thought was really cool so I did do that a couple of times and I do feel like it did make a difference but overall I was a little bit like huh like the suction's not quite stimulating enough for me but that doesn't mean that it won't be stimulating for you. I did mention that I really liked the tubing the only thing was that the Y part it's when you're hooked up to the pump it was hard to kind of use your phone or kind of do anything in front of you because the Y was like in your way if that makes sense. It's not a deterrent but it's just something to note um, that I kind of feel like the Y should have been further down or maybe you could like move this or something. I don't I'm not really sure like I definitely loved that it had one area uh, to plug in but then I feel like the Y was almost a little bit too close to your body so you kind of like got a little tangled in the tubing if that makes sense. A big thing that I did want to mention that was kind of upsetting for me because I really like wanted to like these products more than I do was how heavy um, this whole contraption slash system is. It's very top heavy. You have to be super careful. Um, the first time I actually pumped anything, like which was colostrum, I was actually in the hospital bed and this dumped over all over me because I didn't realize how heavy it was. And it was pretty upsetting because it was literally my first pump and we lost all the colostrum the first time. But I was able to get her like a little bit more, but it wasn't really enough for like her first feeding, which was pretty upsetting for everybody. And I was very embarrassed because like I spilled it everywhere. So that was definitely something to note that this is super he heavy, super, super heavy. Um, and I really, I mean, I know that it is because like these, this part is like much, the plastic is like harder and more and like a higher quality. So I get that, but I almost wish that they could have made it probably a little bit thinner and it still would have been fine. And then it wouldn't have been so heavy, but I have pumped into the eight, I have pumped into the eight ounce bottles and this is like, look at how, look at how big this is, like hanging off your nipple. Like this is huge. And I feel like it's just like, it's totally gonna topple over. Like, let me see if I can like, like, yeah. Like, and the other thing that's really upsetting is that these bottles, they don't, they don't really like tighten perfectly in there they went if you spill this you will spill absolutely everything that's in here this is not a tight seal whereas as their old stuff is a very good tight seal so if this fell over the only thing that the only time that milk would come through is like kind of this part it wouldn't necessarily come in through there because that's like pretty tight and um, it, it is a little bit harder to kind of knock these over and these are much lighter, like so much lighter, but 
it is something to note that this is not this is not like tight and some of them even like if I turn it even more it'll like wreath it'll like unthread itself or something and I just really didn't like that and it was really upsetting because I really liked these parts like I think that they're really well made and Medela did a really good job and they look really nice but they're just not quite practical another thing is that this part here isn't see-through so it's hard to like see what your nipples doing and sometimes even the milk would like splash back from this thing and it, it wasn't like a huge deal but it was just something to note like it just didn't quite have as good working ability as this older one does. I did want to note too that it is, yeah, it's a little bit hard to take these apart. I don't really feel like that's a big deal, but it might be for somebody, I did read in the reviews that somebody absolutely hated that, but I didn't think it was that big of a deal. As long as you didn't like get it wet and then try to open this, um, it, it is a little bit hard, but then again, like I feel like it's because the plastic is just better quality. The other thing I do want to know is that when I was using this pump, let me just get over here. Whoopsie. When I was using this pump um, out in my car, it's hard to see the interface. You can kind of see if I move it a little bit, um, it kind of goes out of like, you can't really see it very well. I wish it was a little bit brighter the um the actual numbers are kind of funny so it is a little bit hard to read like I kind of wish maybe there was like a dimmer or something on here that you could like turn up the brightness but it wasn't like you know you couldn't see anything it just was kind of hard to see you definitely had to be like wait you know how long had I been pumping um or you could just like put your hand over it and it was fine but it wasn't like you know anything that was like I can't even see anything. The other thing was that I did mention that it had two different suctions. I didn't notice too much of a difference, like which one was which. Um, sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. Um, maybe it was just kind of like me and how I was being stimulated at the time, but I didn't really notice too much of a difference, which was kind of like odd, because I was really like looking forward to feeling like what the Symphony felt like and then what this one felt like, because I did use the Symphony a little bit um, in the hospital. But um, yeah, so you know, that's just something to kind of note. Another thing is this is a super expensive pump. It's like I think it's $300. I'll like link it or put the price like here on the screen, but it's way too expensive. I mean, it does come with like a lot of things, like it comes with a bag and everything. So I do sort of understand some of the price, but it's very, very expensive. Um, I know the freestyle is also pretty expensive. Price is like pretty, pretty high, which I feel like is kind of a deterrent. Um, I did get this through insurance, but then again, I still had to pay something out of pocket because it was so expensive. The insurance didn't pay for all of it, but that might depend on your insurance. I'm not really sure that I felt like this this pump like wasn't very gentle if that makes sense like the spectra stimulation that's gentle um it's very vibrating it's not so like er, 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 where this is like definitely more of that er, 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 er thing i actually felt like at some points um my nipples were actually hurting and it was from this pump because i did use a different pump and noticed that i wasn't having a lot of pain I'm not sure if it was because um, I was using the wrong flange with it, but I am. I have been using um, the Pump and Pal small set flange with this, and that definitely is my right size. Like I've double checked and everything, so I feel like it wasn't the flange, but um, I'm not really sure. I even tried like putting some lubrication like on the flange, but I do feel like it just like wasn't quite like the right stimulation for me. So now I want to give my final thoughts. Ultimately, I really, really wanted to like this pump a lot. And I do like this pump. I definitely will be keeping it in my collection and will definitely probably be using it. But I'm not in love with it, which absolutely makes me sad because I really wanted to love this pump. Because I'd heard a lot of good things about it. I'd also heard some not so good things. But I just really wanted to like it because of just the interface and just because it was new essentially. I really wanted to try it. It's new. Um, who doesn't want to try new things? But it just didn't quite do it for me. The pump that I am reviewing right now is doing it for me and that's kind of how I sort of compared it and I even compared it to kind of my 
um, thoughts with the Spectra and I'm I definitely like this more than the Spectra if that makes sense because I like the parts um, I liked that it's Medela I'm familiar with their brand I love the Medela brand but ultimately it wasn't like a love for me it was just a like but I will definitely be keeping this in my collection and I think because it's so expensive and if somebody I know wants to try it it is a closed system pump so I can let them try it so they don't have to pay the like $300. Like the most upsetting thing for me was the parts and how if you spilled this um, or if this topples over it totally spills everything. Maybe that's why like my thoughts aren't as like you know yes get this pump um, because the first time I used it I spilled all the colostrum everywhere because I didn't realize how heavy this was and that this here wasn't like a tight seal. So maybe that's why, you know, like my first kind of experience with it was almost like, I don't want to say negative, but it was just upsetting and very embarrassing because I was like, oh my God, like I just built everything. And, but you know, it is what it is. I do think that if you're interested in this pump, I do think you should definitely look into it. Um, if your insurance covers it, get it through insurance because it's expensive or see if you can find it through one of the Facebook groups. I am all about getting things secondhand. A lot of people think it's like really gross and disgusting because it's like bodily fluids, but if you've taken care of your things and cleaned everything and when you get it, make sure it's clean or make sure you just get a closed system pump and then you don't have to worry about the sanitary issues. I think it's fine. But that's my review on the Medela Sonata. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I will be coming out with more uh, pump reviews. I'm definitely going to be reviewing the Baby Buddha soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.